How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. The Donut Media update released last week. It's been a few days now and there's been a lot of uproar about that update, which we're going to talk about today. There's been a new leak. There's been some NVIDIA issues. Just a load of stuff happening in the Forza community in the past week. If you don't want to miss any Forza update videos, make sure to subscribe. We cover it all on this channel. So let's jump straight into it. So very quickly, last week, there were a few issues with Steam players not being able to launch the game after downloading the update. That was very quickly fixed. So if you have that issue, it's now fixed. And there were a few issues with NVIDIA GPU users, um, sort of rainbow textures. I actually had that issue myself. That was also very quickly fixed just a couple of days ago with a NVIDIA driver. Um, other than that, it looked like the launch of the update went rather smoothly, apart from the update itself being not to the liking of many people. If we look at the comment section of almost every YouTube video about this update, the Twitter replies of the Forza posts, the Instagram comments of the Forza posts, just there's a lot of negativity about this update. And I think it's for several reasons, some of which are understandable and some of which I think a bit harsh now people seem to be upset for two reasons to do with the horizon story and to do with the donut media cars now we got the horizon story like we were promised we were told it was going to have a test track um and all that stuff the test track ended up being quite underwhelming the upgrading cars within the story ended up being rather underwhelming it sort of tells you what to do which defeats the point of sort of testing yourself on the test track because it tells you how to do it and as i said the donut media cars now if we remember the very first time we were told about this donut media update many months ago this is what was said in a forza dlc pack mm -hmm. um you can drive high car low car the money pit cars uh high truck low truck all of our stuff I think that doesn't help as everybody was expecting to be able to drive the Donut Media cars in this update, the one that's already come out. And obviously we know by now, we didn't get any of them. Now, I do need to remind you all, we are getting those Donut Media cars at some point, at some point of the keywords, because we don't know when. I haven't seen Forza really clarify this themselves, which makes me wonder if something went wrong behind the scenes. But Donut Media have clarified with a post on Instagram, as I showed in my last video, that we are getting the cars in another Donut Media update whenever that's going to come out. And we can presume that those cars will be the Money Pit cars, the High Low 350Z, the High Low truck, and then maybe the Leo DiCabrio and the Merch Fab. So there are plenty of Donut Media cars that could and should be coming eventually. But the community is just a bit disappointed with the whole update in general. I think the fact that Rocket Bunny returned and we got a few pretty cool ray tracing sort of updates within that update as well. I think that softened the blow for some people who are more into that stuff than the Horizon stories. But even for the people who aren't into that stuff, the Horizon stories sounded awesome. It sounded like a bit of a twist and something a bit different when it actually ended up being, in my opinion, the easiest Horizon story we've ever been given. It's so easy. I personally went on the Horizon story, upgraded just as they told me to and did nothing else and absolutely smashed all of the challenges first try. And it was just very, I don't want to say boring, but it was just meh. I think what Playground Games haven't really thought about is this, this was probably quite an exciting update for Donut Media fanboys, absolutely true hardcore fanboys of the Donut Media YouTube channel. But anybody who's not really that into it or just heard of them, it really wasn't that special at all. It was just another story with some rather goofy characters. And obviously that's fair enough. Playground games have got to cater to each part of the community. There are probably lots of updates that have came out in the past that me and most of you guys watching really, really liked. A portion of the community really disliked. And it seems like this Series 14 update is one of them that the YouTube Forza community and the more vocal community do not like. <laughs> I do want to know your guys' honest thoughts on this update in the comment section below. Mainly the story, because we are going to get the cars eventually, so we don't need to talk about why we didn't get the cars, because we are getting them, hopefully. Just to the story itself and all that, what do you guys think of it? Are they taking the right route? by making these themed updates that really only cater to a really small portion of the community. 
Something that does worry me a lot though is obviously a lot of the talk went around about what the donut media is going to have and it ended up being underwhelming. Is the next part going to be underwhelming as well? And what I mean is, are we actually going to get the donut media cars drivable in free roam and in our garages? Or is it going to be another Horizon story where we get given a 350Z that looks a bit different, we upgrade it within the story like the last one, drive it around a challenge and we never see it again. I think unfortunately there's a high probability that that will be the case. It might just be another story. I do need, we all might need to sort of change how we think about some of the Forza Horizon 5 updates. Now this isn't me defending Playground Games, you know, full on, but at the end of the day, we all paid for this game years ago. We don't actually pay for any of these free updates that we get. All these Horizon stories that we get, all these new cars, even if they aren't new to Forza, all of these new Nvidia updates and stuff like that, it's all completely free, including bigger updates as well, like the Eliminator, that was free. Super 7, that was free. I do think that player games are sometimes take the wrong route with choosing what themes to make what updates, but at the end of the day, it is all free and they don't owe us really anything. They don't owe us an amazing update every month. We've just sort of come to expect it now. And I don't know if that's wrong or not. Should we? Let's certainly keep our fingers crossed that the Donut Media Part 2 update is something to really get excited about. We'll find out at some point whenever. As I said at the beginning of the video, there's been some new leaks, not very exciting ones, but we all like leaks. And um, there's been a leak of more Eliminator Duos content found as well. As you remember, a couple of months ago or weeks, whenever it was, and um, there's been a massive audio leak of the Eliminator Duos being a feature in an upcoming update. That will be a massive update. A um, load of audio files were leaked. Now, in the most recent Series 14 update, a few more files were added to the game, and these files seem to be just simply audio files for aeroplane engine sounds and parachute engine sounds. So, not engine sounds, sorry. You know what I mean, sound effects. It's seeming very likely that these are just more audio files, more files, all to do with that new Eliminator update we're going to be getting whenever we're going to get that we're not sure and the next leak is off the bat i'm going to say it's probably fake but i want to show it anyway on gt planet someone posted these four images and said a friend sent me these photos and said that this is a future dlc but i don't know if it's real now if we look at the photos individually let me just pull it up, we can see that they seem to show these custom wings and custom tires and parachutes on some of the cars. Now I can presume that this future update or DLC is is presumably a sort of drag style one, you know, drag cars. You can make any car into a drag car with these big wings, these parachutes on the back, um, tinted taillights, these screenshots seems to show as well. Now, although these screenshots do seem pretty promising, it's just too random um, to be real to me. Just in case any of you guys see it floating around, I'm going to touch on it and show you all now, just to hopefully, I'm going to presume that it's fake. It just doesn't look quite real enough. Specifically this photo here, the uh, the spoiler, the lighting just doesn't seem quite right on the spoiler. And the, in fact, in the boot of one of the cars, it seems to be a nitrous bottle or something in there. I don't know if I'm right or wrong with saying that, but either way, it could be modded. It could be photoshopped. I don't think it's real. I don't think we're getting a drag update, but I wanted to show you guys anyway. That is pretty much everything we have to talk about today, guys. There'll be another video whenever we have all the stuff to talk about. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you think in the comment section below of everything we talked about. I'll see you all later.